Absolutely. Look, uh, the game is moving forward uh, all the time. And uh, the international game, you know, we want to be leaders uh, of, of the game. So, you know, we've uh, planned hard in terms of our test game, obviously. You've seen a bit of that. Uh, we've planned for a long time about our white ball game as well. And you saw glimpses of that in the New Zealand series. So, absolutely, look, uh, the game is moving forward. It's a dynamic, high-scoring game, and we want to be at the front and centre of uh, that style of cricket. Uh, your team director, Mickey Arthur, is away from you. How is it difficult and challenging for you all that you have to communicate for virtually and he's not uh, present here as a physical? No, not at all. Mickey and I are very aligned. We're two very different people, two very, very different coaches, uh, but we're one voice. And uh, we've been uh, very good uh, coaching associates and friends for a long, long time. Mickey and I uh, communicate daily and uh, he's very, very, very much in tune uh, with uh, where the squad are at, where the team are at, where each player is at, where our coaches are at, and uh, he's very much part of uh, the new direction that we're wanting to take this team. So uh, we're really looking forward to him joining us uh, on the 23rd. Uh, he'll be with us through to the end of the Indian game uh, in Kandy, and uh, then again, uh, Mickey will be joining us uh, straight away after the... Uh, English domestic season um, and joining us uh, at the World Cup for its entirety uh, and, and right through the uh, Australian series and, and New Zealand series as well. So, yeah, look, uh, really looking forward to having Mickey on board, but um, for me, he's on board every day anyway. So, you know, we're very much aligned. Uh, everyone talks about Babur Asam and his one as a betting perspective. Where do you rate Saul Shakil and uh, Abdullah Shafi? I mean, you can predict about these two guys. Look, uh, in some ways the, the selection has been difficult, but uh, in our minds the selection has been very easy, uh, but uh, very, very encouraging. And what I mean by that is uh, we're very clear around our uh, starting 11. Uh, we're very clear around our batting approach, the way we want to approach the game. We're very clear around uh, how we want to attack the game, particularly in the middle overs. So uh, we believe that Pakistan hasn't been successful uh, in the middle overs as, uh, as well as we should be. And we're, as you can see behind me, you know, we're working hard on developing some skills to really, um, to really attack that middle over period uh, with uh, some hostility, not only with the bat, uh, but with the ball and with our field placings as well. So we want to take wickets through that period. Uh, we want to uh, score runs through that period and we want to take it deep uh, into the 40th over with lots of wickets in hand when we're batting. So, um, look, uh, in, in a lot of ways, you know, the, the selection has been very clear and with Mr. Inzi coming on board, uh, it's wonderful to have such experience uh, in his knowledge uh, and his calmness uh, and he's uh, very much aligned with the thinking uh, of the current selection panel and we're very, very comfortable with the, the lineup that we've uh, selected. But the real pleasing thing is, uh, as we see behind us, uh, we now have some depth. And we now have some real depth uh, in each of our positions right throughout the order. And uh, I'm, you know, we're very uh, pleased with the way that the boys have embraced the two camps we've had, one in Lahore, one in Karachi. You saw the way that the boys played in uh, Sri Lanka during the tests and you can see the way that they're playing out here now. Uh, so they're looking to play an aggressive style, they're looking to use their skills, and that's exactly what I'll be demanding and what Mickey will be demanding that they bring out to the middle and Hamid Tota early next week. Uh, uh, although we're going to play three one-day matches against Afghanistan, but everyone waiting for Pakistan-India match. Do you think India is still an unsettled team? You're taking India as, as an entitled unsettled team. Look, we're, we're thinking about one game at a time. Um, we're, we're just thinking about next week. And uh, the first game against Afghanistan is an incredibly important uh, opportunity for us to uh, put a stake in the ground and um, I, th I think just bring our squad together uh, again after the New Zealand series, which was a while ago now, and play the cricket that we want to play. So we respect Afghanistan hugely. You know, they're a very, very tough team to beat. And uh, we're also looking forward to uh, the first game in the Asia Cup uh, in Nepal and in, in Multan and, you know, bringing a style of cricket that uh, hopefully the country really is inspired by. Uh, but ultimately, we're looking to play a winning brand of cricket and uh, we're looking forward to bringing that to Multan as well. But for now, 
we're just uh, focusing on getting our squad back together. It's good that some of the boys have been getting cricket uh, in uh, the 100 and in the LPL. Um, it's been excellent, uh, excellent that they've been able to play cricket after the test series. Uh, for, the, for the fringes, we're getting some good quality training here and we're just really looking forward to the squad coming back together. Uh, Mickey and I have been communicating with the squad over the last uh, couple of weeks since it's been named and everyone is excited just to be coming together uh, on the 18th, training 19th, 20th, 21st and into Afghanistan on the, on the 22nd. Uh, Grant, you are the part of the selection committee. Uh, while selecting Fahim Ashraf, your part, what is the mindset behind it of all the selection committee members? Yeah, look, the mindset is clear that uh, we really want to develop all-rounders. Uh, so there's a, as you know, there's a lack of uh, pace bowling all-rounders in the country. And we've worked hard during the camps and our selections reflect the fact that we want to promote uh, pace bowling all-rounders. Uh, we want to, um, you know, uh, really give opportunity uh, to, uh, to guys who are dynamic in both forms, uh, with the ball and with, and with the bat and in the field. So uh, it's, it's one of those uh, positions that is very important for us to, to still decide. So uh, whether we go with a, a batting uh, all-rounder uh, or uh, we take the best bowler, uh, that's, uh, that's still to be decided and that's a decision that uh, Mickey, myself and, and Enzi uh, will be involved in uh, with alongside uh, Barbara as well. But um, it's good to have Fahim uh, coming back into the one-day mode uh, we've really taken note of the way that he's been able to finish games with the bat, uh, particularly in PSL. You would have seen uh, for him going to another level uh, in the last year or so, and he's really now starting to uh, use his skills to finish games of cricket at the back end with the bat. And I believe that there's uh, there's no better uh, at hitting pace bowling at the death than Fahim Ashraf. Uh, but whether we opt for that um, or whether we back the fact that we've got real depth now in our middle order as well, uh, as you've seen, we've, uh, we've really uh, backed and promoted and given confidence to Iftika. Uh, we've given confidence to Shadab. We've got Usama, uh, who is also showing all-round skills. We've got Nawaz coming in, uh, back into the frame with all-round skills. So uh, we've got lots of uh, uh, good options. We've got lots of depth. And uh, it's given the selectors uh, a real tough decision to make uh, leading into the all-important uh, 15 that we have to select for the World Cup. Sri Lanka have uh, a spinning condition. Do you think uh, attacking approach will be work there? Uh, absolutely. I think uh, you saw uh, that uh, Gaul was spinning conditions. Uh, you saw that uh, Colombo was spinning conditions. And you saw how our boys played. So, uh, look, we're not looking to sit back and wait for bowlers to bowl badly. Uh, we're, we're looking to be aggressive. Uh, we're looking to turn over strike. And that's exactly what you see out here that our boys are training. Uh, we're training to use our skills. We're training to, uh, you know, um, not show skills in the nets. We're looking to use those skills in the game. And uh, it's not a uh, request uh, from coaches to players. It's a necessity for them to be in the team because that's the way the game is moving forward globally. That's the way we need to move forward with it because we want to lead the, the world globally in the style of play. Above all, we want to play winning cricket, so we have to demand that from our players. So uh, I think, uh, you know, also we saw Hambin Toda uh, in our warm-up game in Sri Lanka. Uh, it was a good surface, but we've also taken good note of uh, the LPL and uh, we note how difficult those conditions are. So you can see what we've mirrored out here at LCC is what we're going to get at uh, Premadasa more than likely. So um, you can see out here the boys are, are training on tough conditions and uh, what's the score now? 340. Uh, it's not even after 50 overs. So I'm very very happy with uh, the expression of skills that has been shown here and uh, the boys um, in, our, in our squad that are gathering uh, in Sri Lanka in a couple of days time they too are well aware of the game plan that we want to play. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Grant.